Chris, welcome to Blackpool. How much are you looking forward to these next few months now? Yeah, really excited. Um, when the opportunity arose to uh, to work under Simon Grayson again, it was um, something that jumped out at me, to be honest. How much does it help that you've worked under the manager before, so you know what you're going to get? Oh, massive, massive. And um, there's a couple of options available, and as soon as I knew that Blackpool were interested, Simon Grayson, yeah, I was I was delighted to to come. Obviously, first part of the season you spent in Scotland, obviously ready to go straight away. Yeah, it was it was a great time. Uh, six months that I spent there, and um, as soon as the new manager came in up there, he had his own ideas and. Um, it, it didn't work out and uh, yeah, it was it was a good time and I'm looking forward to the future. Obviously as a goalkeeper, it's just that one position that you're all fighting for. How do you find that sort of competition and battle week in, week out? Good, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's um, it's it's a position that's really important to a team. Um, a good working environment with the other goalkeepers is essential to being, um, to being successful and I'm um, looking forward to meeting up with the boys and enjoying working with each other. As a goalkeeper, you've obviously been on the foul coast before, but for the fans who haven't seen you week in, week out, what sort of your attributes that you display? <laughs> um, yeah, well, it's one of them, hopefully keeping the ball at the back of the net. Um, I, th I believe it's a position where you can see everything, you can organise and spot the danger before before it happens. And um, Communication organisation is something that I pride myself on. and. Um, one that I intend to implement on the team.